Lisa Leto had the classic symptoms, ones we've all come to associate as heart symptoms. I just started uh, having really bad chest pain and didn't like the way it felt because I had it previously, but never liked this. I really thought I was having a heart attack. Chest pain is one of the most common reasons why people go to the emergency room, but only a small percent of them are actually having a heart attack. It's important to make that determination quickly. For that person that truly is um, experienced a true cardiac event, we want to make sure that we quickly identify that event as being a cardiac event and move them to treatment. To find answers for the remaining people who weren't having an acute heart attack, more hospitals are getting with the chest pain program. Using nationally recognized guidelines, patients are put on a fast track through a series of tests. They did echocardiograms, they did chest x-rays, they did sonograms, they put me on a heart monitor, you name it, they did it. From top to bottom, I mean, I had every test done under the sun. Lisa underwent these tests in the chest pain center within Cape Coral Hospital. As part of the program, patients are placed in their own room and testing comes to them, along with a resolution. So now if you've come in and you think, oh my gosh, is it my heart? I can tell you, no, it's not your heart. It looks like it's something else. Or yeah, it might be your heart. We're gonna do some further testing. <laughs> We're able to um, move the patient safely and quickly to discharge or to further diagnosis or admission to the hospital. Using this protocol driven approach steps up efficiency and quality of care while cutting diagnostic time in half. Within 17 hours, I was back in my house. No cardiac concern for Lisa. The heart of her problem was elsewhere. With a proper diagnosis, she's resting easy. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.